a paper chair called the Honey Pop Chair by the Japanese designer Tokujin Yoshioka. It is actually kind of a nice, unique way to look at paper as a structure, not just a flat surface to be decorated. And here what he did was take thin sheets of paper, the type that you use for a Chinese lantern. And the idea is you take the form and you kind of fan it out into a chair shape. Because it's paper, we have a very fragile surface at the bottom here. So we haven't put it straight on the shelves like some of the other objects. We have it in a tray. This tray flips down and then we can move the tray out for placement in different surfaces because we don't want to be picking up the chair and putting the chair down when the, we've got such a very fragile surface at the bottom there. If you have dust on a surface that's very difficult to get into or very fragile, then that becomes much more problematic when you're cleaning it. So in order to prevent the light getting on this um, piece and in order to prevent the dust getting on this piece, we have some coverings here, just a very nice lightweight muslin. And then underneath we have some lovely acid-free tissue. Right. First sitter in the chair really compresses the paper and forms the seat. In this instance, the designer was actually the first person to sit. So we made the depressions that we see. Again, we don't want to alter the piece. As a museum, part of what we want to do is preserve it as we have it. We do an accelerated age test of all our materials that go into the storage environment and we make sure that none of them will give off any type of um, organic acid or other material that will deteriorate. We get the material, we weigh a certain um, amount of it, a very exact amount of it, we put it in a test tube with different coupons of lead, silver and copper. It goes in the oven with a little bit of moisture for um, a certain amount of time at a certain temperature. Then we take those out and we look at them and we try and decide whether there's been change in those coupons, which are very pure metal. And then if there has been change to a certain degree, then it will pass or not pass the test. It's quite a lengthy process. Mm -hmm.